Gone. Well, hello, friends, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. We are on the morning of day five, and we have got some things to do. Let's go ahead and turn on this forge. Gonna smelt down a little bit more iron and a little bit more clay. Over here, you'll notice something new. I dug all of this out last night, and we have just a little mine shaft. We're gonna take this down a little bit deeper and then start tunneling over to the east to get over to that iron deposit over there. But we actually ran into lead, which is awesome. So we have lead uh, at the ready right here. We've got coal over to the north and iron to the east. So the only thing we're missing right now is nitrate powder, which is great. I also wanted to get two of these claw hammers crafted out. One of these we're going to use uh, to craft our workbench once we unlock that recipe. And the other one we're actually going to use up until... Uh, we are going to buy a nail gun soon. Maybe I shouldn't craft two. Maybe I should just craft one. Uh, yeah, I think we're just going to craft one for right now. Um, I think that's a better decision. Save a little bit of that iron. Uh, we also are going to be crafting out some glue because we are getting low. We are out of duct tape currently. And with glue and cloth, we can make more duct tape. So let's throw some more wood on the fire and lastly i went ahead and spent the points that we got last night in the intellect tree we now have intellect up to level three and the reason for that is i want to pick up level two advanced engineering which is going to allow us to craft workbenches and cement mixers we already have the cement the cement mixer recipe but uh we definitely need a workbench that is even more importante I am thinking we're going to head over here first things first and knock out this quest. And oh, we have a friend. Let's just deal with him on foot. Come on, bud. Whoa! You're in a hurry. Well, the armor upgrades that we've been getting are starting to make a difference. As you can see, we only went down to 93 health there. Not too shabby. So we're getting tougher. We're still pretty weak, but we are getting tougher. So let's get over to wherever it is that Jen wants us to go and uh, do whatever it is that she wants us to do. Are you kidding me? Again? What is it with this house? Jen, <laughs> we've done like three quests so far in this whole series and she sends me back to the exact same house. Well, we're already here and we're burning daylight, so we're just going to reset this place and do it again. Ideally... I would not like to do this place again, but, you know, it is what it is. It'll be fine. Oh, jeez. I knocked his ass all the way down. <laughs> Stupid. Alright, let's just, uh... Uh... Not really even sure what to do here, I guess. I'll just use the old blunderbuss. Get him taken care of. That was a little awkward. Oh, come on, be working. Destroyed workbench, bummer. That would have been... Really nice if this was not broken, but that's okay. We'll take it apart for all of the parts and goodies. All right, we're down in the basement. Let's uh, figure out where our friends are. Take care of them, and then we'll just clean up all the goodies here. I just want to get through this place as quickly as possible since... Oh, dear. He is right there. Since you guys have already seen it. Uh, I'm actually going to learn from my good decisions. And do what we did here last time. Put that down there, that right there. Now we have a nice little hole to fight him in. Let's load up the bow. Perfect. We woke somebody up out here. I'm gonna bust down this fence real quick. See if we can't deal with him before he becomes a problem. One more should do it. There we go. Oh, there's an AC unit on this side of the house. I'm not sure if I ever put that together before. Let's go ahead and wrench these two guys real quick. Passing gas crate. Come on, big money, big money, big money. Oh, 
Oh, big money indeed. The oil recipe. That is excellent. Uh, that is a much bigger deal than it seems. What that does is it frees up a bunch of points that we would need to put into Grease Monkey. Uh, you can craft motorcycle parts, oil. So normally you would have to spec all the way down to rank 3 of Grease Monkey to learn how to make oil. And you need oil to be able to craft Molotov cocktails, which is something that I like it to do. I mean, oil is obviously good for a lot more than that, but if you don't have the oil recipe, which is pretty uncommon to find in my experience, the only way to craft Molotovs in, in bulk is to spec all the way down in, uh, in the Grease Monkey tree like that. So that is a super awesome find right there. Uh, let's just keep speed looting this place. Another wrench and some acid. Those are both vet and nice. We're going to need five acid to craft our chemistry station, which is huge. That has 43 block damage, and we're rocking 38 block damage. So we got a wrench upgrade again. That's awesome. Let's scrap the old one for the iron. Uh, throw out some of this junk we don't need. Inventory's getting a little cluttered. There's a lot of noise outside. Oh, oh. Oh, God. That's a wandering horde. Um, well, this just got interesting. They are going to have to beat through that fence. So let's try to finish looting this bottom level before they start breaking through the walls and getting to us. And we are just going to have to ideally <laughs> find a choke point to fight them at. But that's kind of easier said than done. So let's, well, you know, I was worried about doing the same POI being boring. I don't think this is going to be super boring now. <laughs> We've got an iron hatch here, which is nice. Let's dig up this cobble. I want to say they're going to try and come up through the hatch, but it's really difficult to say. This house is so busted apart. Right, let's try and get some eyes on them now that we're up in a higher, safer place. Ooh, sketchy. Oh god, I almost fell there. Let's bust through here. They're really taking their sweet time getting through that fence, which I suppose is kind of nice. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have at least seven guys to deal with. We got a big mama right over there. All right, they're definitely inside, and it does look like they're going up into the attic. So I should get over to that hatch and uh, try and devise some way of dealing with them here. Are they hitting it? Yeah, they are hitting it. So, maybe if we did something like this, we can create a little box that they can't get out of. Um, and we can reinforce it. We can harvest some more wood later. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is way too many. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This is not good. This is not good and we are like out of blunderbuss ammo um let's try and do that very quickly uh let's put that last frame block there let's upgrade that oh my gosh can you believe this shit we are in okay okay <laughs> so they're actually gonna fall off and have to run back around most likely so i think we actually found a good spot to deal with them where the numbers count for nothing. Oh my god, this is intense. Wandering hordes, I swear, are the scariest shit. Let's craft some more frame blocks, because we are totally out. Let's just go for 20. And it seems like the ones that have fallen off have forgotten how to not be stupid and they're just kind of stuck down at the bottom which is unfortunate let's try and cover these um you know i think we're actually good to go get the main loot right now so let's go do that all right we woke up mr cowboy he should come around should being the operative word what's up bud all right, we can deal with him. Grab this loot. Maybe just get out of here. Well, he's down there with the rest of them. 
So let's just pop a frame in here and see what we got in the box. Blunderbuss ammo, that's really good. Oh shit, they're back. Oh my god, they're breaking through the wall right there. Um. All right, so if they're up in the attic, if I come over here, they should come around the corner. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. I dealt with the- oh god, oh god, oh god. Um, I fell. I fell. This is not an ideal situation to be in. Let's get over here. Pick these blocks up. Make sure I don't bump my head on anything. Whew. That was a little scary there for a second. All right, let's try and get at this loot again. We got some ammo. That's good. We can start to use that 762. We've got some drugs we can use or sell. Let's grab this cobblestone and check in the big box. Ooh. ooh, 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 decent stuff there. More ammo, uh, some armor upgrades. Let's just try and grab all of these frame blocks real quick. Then we're going to get back around to our little fighting corner over here. Yep. Yeah. And our friends should come over to join us. Don't you fall off that ledge. It is your time to die, bud. Get up. Won't get up. There we go, one more down. We should be getting down to the bottom. Oh, God! Bumped my head on something. Um, we got a businessman in there. Let's try... Hi. I guess there's a hole in the wall right there. <laughs> oh, good timing. Should be able to deal with these guys. Let's actually go ahead and upgrade this. Big mamas. Thick mamas. Hit hard. Let's keep that repaired. Let's go ahead and upgrade this too, just to be on the safe side. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're doing it. We're fucking doing it. Let's use a blunderbuss shot on you. that it? I think that's it. Holy crap on a cracker, that was intense. <laughs> well, I was worried about that being boring, and that was not boring. There's really no textbook way to deal with a wandering horde like that this early in the game. You just kind of have to use your environment and hope you don't die. <laughs> So, uh, all in all, I don't think we even took a hit there. So I'm going to say that went really, really well. So why don't we get back home, drop off the stuff we don't want, grab all the stuff we're going to sell, go over to Jen's, turn in this quest. And from there, I think we're going to head over to Dyersville and check. I know there's a, a place, a couple of places that have workbenches, one in a garage, one on a construction site. And we're going to see if either of those workbenches are working. And maybe we'll get lucky and be able to craft one of those ergonomic grip mods. Okay, let's throw this Cripplum mod onto our AK, and we're going to put the Blunderbuss in this chest from now on, and we're just going to pull this out for horde time, use up whatever ammo we've got, and from now on the AK is going to be our backup weapon in case things get dangerous, and you can see it holds 32 shots of 7.62, so it's a lot better in a pinch than a Blunderbuss, which only has one shot. Uh, other than that, we did get a leg upgrade. Uh, same mods, but slightly better leg armor. And I think that's everything. So why don't we get over to Jens? Hi, Jen. Amazing. I hope you like your reward. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's fine. We already have a helmet light mod. Um, and nine millimeter. I'm not a huge fan of nine millimeter weapons. But I guess we'll take that and just sell it. I mean, it's 400 coin. You really can't be too upset with that. We could do... Oh, we've got a clear zombies really close. Yeah. Only 233 meters away, so let's me. do that. And let's good go luck. ahead and sell all this junk we don't need. I'm almost tempted to buy this wasteland treasure. It allows you to find honey when you're chopping down trees. 
That is pretty decent, but I really, really, really want that motorcycle right now. And we've got to start saving for that. So, yeah. Thanks yeah, I think we're good care. for right now. Let's head up to Dyersville. Well, we're back at Dyersville. And this may not have been the smartest plan. It's already hour 16. But I don't want to spend a lot of time here. Uh, I just, I know of two POIs that have workbenches that spawn in them. This being one of them. And I want to check both of those workbenches. If we can find one that works, that would be awesome. I'm going to try. You got anybody in here? <gasps> oh, we have a working workbench. That's awesome. Okay, so we can craft one of these. We just need to get the materials. So we need to wrench some cars and some street lights. <gasps> the glue. No, I didn't think about the glue. Shit. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Just jumped like 10 feet up in the air there. That was weird. Gosh, I really screwed the pooch on this one. I, I was planning on coming down here, and if I found one of these workbenches that was working, we were going to craft that mod. But we don't have the glue. I was thinking all the materials we need, we could just collect from wrenching cars and street lights, but we don't have the glue. And if I could get murky water... I could go down there. There's a bunch of bodies down there. I could break all those bodies for bones and then make glue, but I'm starting to think this was just an ill-conceived plan. So, oh, not cool, man. Oh, God. Not good. Okay, we need to get back up here. Now is one of those times when you use your AK. Let's try and save some ammo. I think I am just making one poor decision <laughs> after another today. We're just going to head home. Honestly, we will have enough um, skill points to unlock the workbench recipe tonight uh, after we level up one more time, which we are really close to doing. So we're just going to have a workbench at home. We can deal with everything there. And uh, yeah, this was just a bad idea. I will, at the very least, get the mechanical parts that we need on the way home. And there's a working stiff tools crate right there. Obviously, we don't have time to loot this whole place. But I think we can justify just getting that crate. And at some other time, we can come back and finish this place up. Ideally, once we have our motorcycle, and we can get up to Dyersville more quickly. Well, this is going well so far. Anyone else? Whoa! You stogies. Stay down, please. Oh, man. Having this AK is a game changer. As long as we can maintain our ammo levels, we are going to be much safer making stupid decisions, which is really nice. What's in the box? <gasps> Advanced bellows, hella worth it. All right, let's get some of this junk out of our inventory. We need to get home. It is already hour 18. Uh, what does this book do? Uh, fully automatic weapons, increased chance to ragdoll enemies. Uh, yeah, why not? That seems okay. Dig up this cobble real quick, and then we just got to beeline it home and get ready for the horde. Oh, home sweet home. Gosh, I feel like I've been a bit scatterbrained this episode. <laughs> I didn't really come into this with a plan. I just knew I felt like playing and I needed <laughs> I needed to record. <laughs> so we've just kind of been winging it today. But, you know, we did find some really good stuff today. Uh, we got some advanced bellows, which are going to make our forge work 50% faster, which is awesome. And we are going to be able to craft a workbench any second now. I'm just going to chop down a couple of these trees for the experience and the wood and that should give us the level that we need to get that recipe unlocked.
All right, we got that level. Let's go ahead and go up to our skills, over to intellect. Let's throw one more point into intellect and get tinkerer, level two, advanced engineering. Now the hope, the ideal situation is that you would find a pair of nerdy glasses and those give you plus one intellect while you have them equipped. So you would get your intellect up to level three, equip your nerdy glasses, take your second point into tinkerer, craft your shit, and then take the glasses off when you don't need them. And that way you can save a skill point. So that's kind of what I was thinking with that whole uh, ill-advised trip up to Dyersville. But as it is, I really don't care. This way, at least we get that, that perk constantly. Because normally you'll lose that if you're not wearing your nerdy glasses, if you did it the way I just described. And this allows your workbenches and cement mixers to craft 20% faster. So, you know, there is an advantage to doing it this way. Albeit we do lose kind of a skill point. So let's get the materials and get that workbench crafting. And that's all we needed. Okay, great. Uh, four minutes and we will have a workbench. And then we can craft an ergonomic grip mod at our workbench. So let's do that because I would love to have one of those going for tonight. We need springs, mechanical parts, glue, and steel. Gosh, you know what? I've been selling all of my springs. Have I been selling anything else? I've got the glue. I've got the steel. So I need springs and mechanical parts. Shiza! Man, I am just making all the wrong decisions today. Let's try and get some cars or something wrenched before the horde gets here so we can craft that. did it with just moments to spare. I feel good. I accomplished my goals for today, and that's really all that matters. Let's munch down some of these bacon and eggs real quick. I am just fighting the clock today. Uh, that hatch is closed, right? Yeah, we're good. Our workbench is going to be done in five seconds. Let's pull out this steel. And did I need anything else? Glue, that was it. Let's grab this glue. Workbench is done. Let's pop this bad boy down. Hopefully this grip mod only takes, yeah, only a minute to craft, so we should actually be able to use it tonight, you know, since that was the point of all this. Uh, let's burn through some of our stamina and then get up on the roof and throw down some cocktails. Actually, you know, I kind of wanted to try something. I'm a little curious to see what will happen if we try and throw a cocktail at the door from the back of the shop. It might catch me on fire, but we have some drinks on us, which will put out the fire if it comes to that. So let's just try it, because it would be nice not to have to run up to the roof. Hey! You know what? I think that's going to work a lot better than trying to get up there. Because as soon as I run up there, the zombies start scattering and running all around and not knowing what to do. So that's working a lot better. Mod is done. Let's slap that on our armor. That's interesting. You can have structural brace and ergonomic grip. I thought those two contradicted each other, but we now have a 10% reduction in stamina cost, which is awesome, so we can just swing more for longer. There's a level, and I think we are getting down to the end of this horde. Just one thick boy left. Go down, buddy. We got, ooh, three loot bags. That's, that's exciting. All right, he is dead. Let's see what is in the bags. Ooh, we got some cash, 762. Very, very nice. A little bit of food, can't go wrong. Oh! <gasps> 
and some nerdy glasses, painkillers, and 762. That is an amazing bag, but god damn it. <laughs> if I had looted these five minutes ago, or ten minutes ago, we could have used these and saved a skill point, but that's fine. We have our nerdy glasses and our lucky looter goggles, which is awesome. We can now just throw on our lucky looter goggles whenever we're about to, you know, hit up some main loot or open up a bunch of loot bags at the end of a horde, that type of thing. And we can just keep our nerdy glasses on all the time for plus one intellect and 10% bonus to XP. Let's just get all of this stuff repaired up. And what am I going to be doing now? Uh, we are going to be digging out more of the mine shaft over the rest of the night. I need to look through our workbench and see if there's anything else I can start crafting now that we have this available to us that is going to be advantageous. Uh, so definitely a lot to consider there. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. <laughs> Sorry I was so scatterbrained today. I'm not really sure what was going on. I just, I don't know, it's Friday. I'm about to stream tonight and it'll be my first time streaming in over a year. So maybe that's just <laughs> distracting me a little bit. So yeah, we'll blame it on that. But anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I love your faces. I'll see you next time. Bye.